Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to you all. My name is Dr. Omar Maizi. Uh, today in this video, we continue about the uh, chapter 8.4, Joints and the Fastener Stiffness. Okay, all the content is taken from the book, Shigley Mechanical Engineering Design. And all the images here are taken from the book itself and randomly from Google Images. So, when the connection is desired, that can be disassembled be, be, without disruptive method and that is strong enough to resist external tensile load, the moment load, and shear load, and combination of this, then simple bolted joint using hard steel washer is good solution. Okay, such a joint can also be nearest, is uh, properly designed and assembled by a trade mechanic, meaning that if you uh, connect this one connection, uh, if you don't want to become disruptive method, meaning that if you put excessive load on it, it will pending. Okay, you don't want this to happen. Okay, you don't want this bending to happen. Okay, you don't want that. Okay, better you use washer. Okay, this washer will help you because it will distribute the load. Okay, load distribute okay this is the uh, purpose of a washer okay okay now the tension loaded joint you notice is a ten in a tension loaded joint there is a clearance you see in here in this picture there is a clearance clearance here and also clearance here what is the purpose of a clearance there are uh, two main purpose that uh, I can think of now okay this is the box this is the box and then you have a clearance here and also clearance here the need for clearance is when you uh, tighten the box okay and when you uh, loosen the box some of the portion will extend Okay, will elongate. Okay, some of it will elongate. Okay, and then it, this elongation will give uh, this clearance will give some space for it to elongate. And also, remember when this ball is exposed to heat from the sun. Okay, heat from the sun. Also, heat from the material itself, meaning that. It will expand. You learn in your physics class when a material is exposed to a heat, uh, temperature is rise, then it will expand. Okay, that is the purpose of the clearance. And but the main purpose is that when you are uh, giving the loading inside it, it will expand and it also will compress. Okay, this is the reason uh, for it to have a clearance. Talking about boat preload, pre pre okay? The boat preload meaning that two meaning. The one meaning that you giving the you giving the force inside it, okay? You are tightening the nut, okay? When you are tighten the nut, okay? It will give the clamping force. There's this clamping force, okay? This clamping force is the preload okay and then the weight itself the weight of the structure itself let's say this claim this uh, force you want to claim two plate one plate is one kilogram two plate is two kilogram the the load is itself is the load this is called also called preload okay this is what also what the meaning of preload okay but the official meaning here is uh, the clamping force is called the pretension or boat preload. Talking about the start, okay. What is the start? If you can see um, uh, some of the bolts, they have no, they have no head. They have no head. Okay, it's only have this. This threaded part is only one shaft. Okay, and this shaft. This portion, this portion, they have the thread, okay, have the thread here, and also they are, uh, 
they are also they are the whole track okay they are type that has the whole track this is called the start okay when you uh, because it has no head it is easy when you uh, when you want to climb okay you climb uh, you take the nut okay you climb bottom first and then you climb the upper first and uh, must remember always have the washer with you we are talking about spring okay the spring rate you remember from your physics class in your secondary school your uh, tertiary school okay remember about the spring and the famous equation for spring is, is f equals to k x where k is the uh, stiffness of a spring stiffness of spring okay and the x is the the uh, displacement displacement okay displacement so this string uh, this uh, spring theory can be used anywhere okay let's say i put this and i give the load here and i when i give in the load this will become displacement okay we go in going down a bit okay this is called displacement not to be confused with deflection when you give the load here it will deflect you see here deflect this is called this this region is called deflection and this is called displacement going down okay that is the different uh, in uh, term term de deflection and this displacement so this is called the spring rate uh, so just, i just want to uh, just make to re you remind okay this is called deflection and this is called okay displacement okay displacement displacement that is the difference and the famous equation if is f is equal to kx and this uh, in this book is called ky you see this equation is actually going to tell f equal to kx okay and ky is the same uh, same term okay talking about grip what is a grip okay the word grip itself in in layman terms we see we will say that the the surface that have a grip like the grip for handle your motorcycle okay motorcycle handle it has it has this okay your motorcycle handle it, it has this we call grip okay because your hand do not slip okay however in this uh, term of uh, screw term the grip is the portion that have no track you see here this has track this portion have track this portion have no track okay this portion is called grip okay that is why sometimes it's quite confusing the term used in engineering and the term used in uh, in everyday usage like for example this grip you understand the grip is the nearest to you is your motorcycle the handle have grip okay because your hand will not slip okay your hand will not slip when you are riding the motorcycle but this this screw the portion has no thread is slippery it is called a grip okay so just remember the term is different okay okay this is the uh, table 87 the given the pastoral diameter d and pitch uh, in millimeter and number of thread in per inch washer thickness uh, given for the table A32 and nut thickness and grip length and everything this is a uh, uh, when you are refer we want to refer when we are doing the the calculation uh, in the in the next video okay the stif stiffness what is uh, stiffness the stiffness of a portion of a belt or screw within the clamp zone we generally consist of two parts that of unthreaded shank portion and that of threaded portion okay the stiffness is like this this uh, that this is my ruler of course it's made of plastic you can see you can see it like this it, it can sway up right left right left that, like that because the stiffness is low compared to this okay spanner okay to this spanner it will be hard to for you to to break 
very hard to we to go stiffness okay this is the stiffness meaning that uh, the stiffness of screw uh, the other maybe the better one okay the bolt stiffness okay the bolt stiffness is taken from this equation uh, kt okay kt equals to a t e per l t v v a is the tensile stress area l is the length of thread portion of the grip uh, AD is the major diameter of the fastener. LD is the length of under the portion of the grip. So this is uh, what does it mean like this? When you have the uh, this portion, okay, and the, and then this portion have grip. This portion does have grip, okay. And then this is the area, uh, the area, AT, area of. Uh, inside stress area when you clamp and this is the length of the uh, portion of the track okay track and this is portion with no track okay no track so this is called ld no track is ld okay and then there's a major area of a fastener okay this is the fastener okay. when you clamp something this is the area that you want to know mm -hmm. and that and then this is the tensile stress area okay you can get from the equation and you can get the stiffness of the uh, bolt meaning that you should uh, choose a better bolt uh, let's say for example you are choosing this plastic bolt rather than uh, compare to the steel steel one okay of course it will damage uh, it, will, it will damage I'm saying, for example, uh, this is a toy, okay? This is a toy. So, so just giving an example to you. Uh, this is how you calculate, and then you get the stiffness of the spring and uh, stiffness of the bolt, and then you are using the equation uh, for, okay? Spring equation F equals to K X. K is the stiffness of the of the bolt, and X is the displacement when you are giving the uh, Force it will go down uh, at one displacement. Okay, so that is the video for this topic. In the next video, we will discuss about joints and member stiffness. Okay, thank you very much. See you in the next video.